Hi everybody, welcome to McNulty's Book Row. Today we are at Galena, Illinois at the home of Ulysses S. Grant, one of the most fascinating men in American history. And since we're here, let's take a look inside Grant's house. Grant's Galena home was gifted to him after the war, and he lived here from 1865 for about a year. But after he was elected president in 1868, he visited here in Galena only infrequently. The house sits on a hill overlooking the Galena River and is quite comfortable and spacious. To learn more, please visit the home itself or follow the link below to visit the Galena website. Cheers, everybody. I've been banished to the back corner of my den, which is a total disaster area. And uh, we're doing some construction here, and that's going to go on through the winter. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I wanted to give you some uh, information on uh, Ulysses S. Grant and some of the books that you might want to read. So when I was at the Grant house, I picked up two books, The Old Commander, uh, General U.S. Grant, Sketches of His Life. This is a facsimile of a booklet that was printed two weeks after his passing. So I bought it because some of these old newspaper reports and so forth do give you some uh, interesting information that you don't normally find in the mainstream biographies. Um, so again, this is a facsimile. It costs $5.00. I love to pick up the booklets at historic sites whenever possible. It's something I do recommend if you go to the Grant Home in Galena. There's a couple. The other one I picked up there is a is an actual uh, modern uh, short history about Galena with Grant as the focus. Galena Grant and the Fortunes of War by Kenneth N. Owens. This is a pretty comprehensive and solid book. Um, about Grant's relationship with Galena and about Galena itself. If you're interested, again, at the Galena house, uh, I'm sorry, Grant's house in Galena, you can pick up these books and others on site at these historic locations. Always fun to do. And finally, you know, one book relating to Grant. I have numerous books relating to the American Civil War, um, many of them relating to Shiloh. Because I've been to Shiloh and I walked the Shiloh battlefields and I went to the river where Grant disembarked and so forth and I followed it up to the Owl Creek Bridge and I did the whole walk through the Bloody Pond and the Hornet's Nest and all of that. Um, for those of you interested in the Civil War, the biography by Ron Chernow, uh, who is a Pulitzer Prize winning biographer, this is a massive book, okay? This is the best biography, I think, that I've read relating to Grant specifically. There are numerous books about Grant on the market. I have, again, many relating to the uh, Civil War battles. But this, as far as a straightforward biography, I recommend. Ron Chernow is a really great uh, researcher and writer. He also did the best biography of George Washington, which is cleverly titled Washington. Uh, so, uh, But he's good. This guy is good. His footnotes and bibliography index is all in order here. So probably one of the best books that I've seen on Grant, uh, that I've read on Grant, is this one by Ron Chernow. So there you have a little trip into the past with Ulysses S. Grant, the bulldog general from the American uh, Civil War and future president who... Um, led a fascinating, albeit short, life. Uh, and so, just wanted to get that out there for you. I hope you are well. Hope you're enjoying these videos. And until next time, stay well, stay happy, feed your brain, and read a book.